Hello, this is Alfredo Nava. Uh, this is one of the final presentations for the Intelligent Navigational Robots Project. It's April 25th and it's 1130. Uh, what this demonstration will do is we'll have this robot right here, which will, uh, it already has a, a program that will simulate basically as if that robot had already gone through the entire maze and it's at the end of the maze sending the optimized path data to this robot. Uh, the reason why we're doing this is just to speed up the demonstration. Uh, basically, this robot will receive the optimized path data, and then it will go through the three stages of uh, detecting the common path, finding a significant junction, and then following the uh, following the the optimized path to the end of the maze. Um, as it's traversing the maze, it'll be printing out some debugging values right here so that we can uh, keep track of its progress. So I'm going to start this demonstration now. And now we'll turn on this robot, and you'll see the LED blink green. That means it received data. Now the LED blink yellow, that means it successfully detected uh, the first common junction. Uh, every, every time it blinks yellow, it means it detected a common junction. After it has blinked yellow five times, it will uh, go ahead and uh, start trying to find a significant junction because that means it, it already found a common path. So usually it finds the common path right here and now the yellow light is solid that means it found the common path so now what it'll do at each junction is try to find a significant junction so it'll keep going until it knows it can start following the optimized path. So now, the three LEDs are green, so now that means it has already found a significant junction. It will then skip this next junction and start following the optimized path. Now the robots are following the optimized path. And now the robot will go to the end of the maze and start blinking, meaning it has uh, successfully completed the maze simulation. So let me just recap what you just saw. When the robot actually got here and turned on the yellow LED, it, uh, it, it means it found a common path, but it wasn't going to start immediately following the optimized path because it needs to know, uh, it needs a point of reference where it is at the same location where the previous robot was. So it doesn't take into account these, uh, these corners that are left only, right turn only or something like that. It also, you saw it reverse back here, and it didn't, it didn't find a significant junction here or here. The reason why is because th these junctions are not in the optimized path. These were uh, uh, deleted off of the main path. So once it got here, that's a significant junction because the ro that's in the optimized path. So it can start following the optimized path to the end of the maze from there on. And uh, over here in the computer... We can see as it was detecting, it was following the optimized path. It would detect the, uh, at the top of junction right here. And then at uh, that junction, it had to go straight. And so basically, it checked that in every, in every junction. So right here, it tells us how the significant junction was found. Over here... Uh, we have the uh, significant junction method trying to detect the significant junction. And then over here we have the common path detection data. Well, thank you very much.